Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today we're gonna to be cooking this tomahawk ribeye. I mean, check this out. Three and a half pounds, prime Angus beef. The marbling looks awesome. You know it's gonna be good. Let's show you how I cook it. So this tomahawk ribeye, giant ribeye steak, still on the rib bone. They French it back to where it creates this handle on it. And you've just got a behemoth of a piece of beef here that's marbled through and through. Now this is prime beef. I got this one from Matador Prime Beef. You can check them out on the internet. They sell all kinds of great cuts of beef. The first thing that I'm gonna do to this tomahawk ribeye is get some salt, pepper, and garlic on it. I wanna get that base foundation flavor. My AP rub is great for this. We're just gonna season all sides of it. A big piece of beef, it can take it. So you just wanna flip it over. Make sure you get the edges. All that fat's gonna cook down and give it some great flavor. I just wanna let it hang out. It needs about 30 minutes setting out at room temperature. You don't have to stick it back in the refrigerator. It's gonna start working on this beef. It's gonna penetrate it. We're gonna get some of that flavor deep down in it. Now's a great time. We're gonna fire up the grill. Y'all check it out. So I'm gonna fire up my PK360 and I'm just gonna use a charcoal of Royal Oak briquettes. Got a couple wax cubes to get the fire going. It's gonna take about 15 minutes. These coals will be fire hot. Once those coals are getting hot, just dump them in. And we're gonna set up a two zone fire today in the PK. We're gonna put all the coals over on one side and this is gonna be our searing side. And then we're gonna have a cool side to slow things down to really cook this tomahawk all the way through. Now we're ready to put the grate in place and right on top of that, I'm setting a set of grill grates. I've got a little cooking spray that's gonna go on them. It's gonna get them nice and hot. They're gonna be ready for that steak in just a second. Okay, our tomahawk's been hanging out for about 30 minutes while we got that PK fired up. And you can see it's already starting to work on the outside of the meat. It's pulling some of that moisture out. It's kind of making that rub a little tacky. It's gonna give it a great little crust on top when we get it over on those hot grill grates. The next thing I'm gonna do to it, right before we put it on the grill, is hit it with a little coarse rub. And I'm using my steak rub. Hey, you can use any kind of flavors you want to season a tomahawk steak like this. If you like simple salt and pepper, go for it. Make this recipe your own. I'm just going with a layer of this coarse ground steak rub. You don't have to get real heavy with it, but it creates a nice bark too. It gives it a little crunch on top and as those flavors cook, you know it's gonna be good. I mean, this is a man steak right here. I'm ready to get this ribeye on some fire. Let's go to the PK. All right, the PK should be good and hot. I want to see at least 600 degrees at great level. I'm just gonna use my new thermal pen here. I'm saying 620, that's perfect. I mean, this is gonna be screaming hot, ready for that ribeye. Saying 622, 630, we're ready to put this thing on. And I'm just gonna lay it right on the rack, kind of at an angle. And we're gonna press down, make sure we get some good contact. And then we need to set a timer. We're looking for about two and a half minutes, and then we're gonna put that twist on it. So let's get the lid closed, get a timer going, and we'll be right back. All right, we're looking at two and a half minutes. It's time to put a little twist on this tomahawk. I'm just gonna do it like this, ease it up, get it right over on this hot side. And we're gonna mash it right back down. Go ahead and put some gloves on, because you know it's gonna be hot. Close it down, set that timer for another two and a half minutes. All right, we've been a total of five minutes. It's time to flip this tomahawk, get the other side marked up a little bit. I'm just gonna grab it. Check that out, that is beautiful. I wanna mash down just a little bit on this side. Get the lid closed. We're gonna go another two and a half minutes. All right, we're gonna put another little twist on this side. Press it down, get some good grill contact. Get the lid closed fast, looking good. All right, so our steak's been seared on all sides now. I'm just gonna take it off and check this out. I mean, that's beautiful. So now we're gonna get the steak over on the indirect side. We're just gonna lay it over here, let the bone hang out, that's okay. And I've just got it on a little raised rack that you can get from PK, it fits right there, the steak fits right on it. And in our bottom drip pan, I'm gonna start melting some butter. Got a little butter going down. I'm gonna throw some thyme, some rosemary in there. Then I've got about a head of garlic. All that's gonna mix, catch the drippings of this steak. And don't forget, I'm gonna add a little olive oil. As that butter melts, the olive oil heats up, it's gonna absorb those flavors from the rosemary, from the thyme, from that garlic, and the drippings from the steak. And we're gonna use that to baste over the top of it. To watch the internal temperature, I'm using a chef alarm, and I've got a probe that I'm just gonna stick in a thick part of this ribeye. I wanna go right dead center of that the loin part of the ribeye, 
and that's where I'm watching internal temps. We'll get it off about 125 and then let it rest. We're gonna keep the lid closed and we're just gonna watch it cook. It's gonna climb up slow and that's what we wanna see. We'll start basting it here as quick as that butter melts. We'll look at it and show you what it looks like. All right, let's check and see if the butter's melted here. See how our little dipping sauce, basting sauce, oh yeah, check that out. Got that rosemary, thyme, garlic sizzling away. That's what I wanna see. What I'm gonna do is just baste the steak with it. We're gonna get some of that flavor right back on top. Keep it moist. Looks good. Well, we're already up to about 85 degrees internal. Got a little ways to go. Bones looking good. It's down here. Now it's over the hot area still. So if it starts getting too dark, we can always put just a little bit of aluminum foil over it to protect it. Right now, I'm just gonna let it go. It's looking good. Get the lid closed. We're just gonna keep on cooking. Y'all keep watching. All right, it's time for another little baste here. We're looking about 105 degrees internal. This tomahawk's looking right. I love the way it colored up. We've slowed down the cooking process by getting it up on this rack. We're just keeping it basted. It smells incredible. I wish you could just, if there was any way y'all could smell this, you need to be over here at the house. But it's awesome. Bone looks good. Hey, check this out. I'm gonna brush that a little bit too. It's not getting too dark. Looking good to me. Let's get it closed and finished up. Hey, and we're not worried about time at all. We're cooking by internal temperature. This chef alarm's telling me 107 degrees. We got about 18 more to go. It's gonna be time to get this tomahawk ribeye off. You know we gotta let it rest, but then I can't wait to try it. Y'all stick around. All right, you can see our chef alarm, 125. This is where I want it to be. 126 is fixing to pop. What I'm gonna do is verify it now. We get my new thermal pin out here. And right in that loin, right where we probed it, you can see 125, 127, 126, it's holding, it's matching that chef alarm. 126, perfect now. I know it's there. I'm gonna give it one last baste here. We've got all that good steak juice that's dropped down in our pan. Mixed with that butter, those herbs, that garlic, olive oil. And hey, I'm telling you, all right, this tomahawk is ready to go to the cutting board. I mean, check that out. This dude's screaming hot. You can hear it sizzle. I'm gonna set it down. So I'm just letting this tomahawk ribeye hang out on the board. It needs five, 10 minutes minimum to rest. Let it stop cooking. We want it to stay juicy inside. If I cut right into it, you know we'd lose all that. It's a great time to recap. And we started with this huge three and a half pound tomahawk ribeye. Got it at Matador Prime Steaks. You can check those guys out on the web. This is a beautiful steak and had awesome marbling. We got it seasoned simple with that salt, pepper, garlic, my AP. Let it sit 30 minutes on it, and then we put some more steak rub right over the top while we got our grill good and hot. You could use any seasonings, whatever you like. This is all about technique. We seared it on all sides for about two and a half minutes each turn, and then we raised it up to a rack. And that's when we put a pan under it so we could catch some of those juices that were dripping. We mixed them with a stick of butter, a little bit of olive oil, some garlic cloves, some rosemary, some thyme, and we let all that get happy in that pan. And we just basted it while we watched the internal temperature. We didn't worry about time anymore. We just watched what it was. I took it to 126 in the loin, which is right where I like it. We're gonna cut into this thing in just a minute. So I can't take it anymore. It's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna have to cut this steak up. What I'm gonna do is just take my knife and follow the bone. We're going right down it. I mean, take it right off. We'll put that bone to the side. You know there's some good stuff there. But look at that piece of steak. I mean, don't you just want to eat that spinalis? All that fat that was right there around the edge, it's gotten real crispy. I'm gonna cut it right where we had it probed. Let's see how we did. And check that out. That is just beautiful. And I'm gonna cut up this front piece, the spinalis. This is what I love. Cut it into whatever size pieces you want to eat. I mean, this is awesome. I'm gonna get a piece right here. I know it's gonna be tender as it could be. Mm. Wow. That is incredible tasting beef. I mean, it's just got so much flavor. I mean, you get the salt, the pepper, all the seasons we put on the outside, but with a tomahawk like this, you really taste the beef. It's cooked perfect. Mm. Hey, a ribeye with all that fat in it, it's got so much flavor. I mean, it really does have more taste than any other steak. This Matador beef is unbelievable. If you guys are interested in it, in the description, there's a discount code. You can get 10% off your first order. Just go to their website, check it out. 
A big tomahawk like this is gonna feed a lot of people and it's cool as it can be. I mean, check that bone out. That is just awesome. That is so cool. Hey, I'm gonna have to work on that bone here in a few minutes. Thanks for checking us out today at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. You can send all your comments and questions to Facebook and Twitter too. We love to answer those. We'll see y'all next time. I gotta go back in here and get some of this steak, Shell. You're gonna love this. Oh man, it just melts in your mouth. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. That's exquisite. So soft.